What's going on everyone? My name is Cody. I've got a video for you guys today. Today's video is a brand new long-awaited setup video. You guys have been waiting for the setup video for so long. I have had people coming into my chat every single day asking, hey Cody, your room looks different from the last setup video. Where's the new one? It's here guys. Do not worry. The setup video is here. I cleaned the carpet. I sweeped. I picked stuff up in anticipation for you guys coming over and looking at my room. So without further ado, I'm going to flip the screen around. We're going to turn around and I'm going to check it out. I'm going to describe everything the best that I possibly can. If you guys want to check out anything that I have, if you guys want to, you know, check it out yourself or get it for yourself, you think it's rad, you think it's awesome, you can check out all the links in the description. If I forget any of them, please let me know. I will try my best to put them all down there, but I've got a lot of crap for them, so let's be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So we are obviously right at the doorway as soon as you walk in. I got carpet. I got an extra monitor sitting here. Uh, it was broken for a while, but I, it's, it's working again. So it's just kind of an extra monitor in case I need it for anything. Just kind of sitting there. I have a lot of stuff that's just placed wherever on the room. So please be nice with that, okay? I just have stuff laying everywhere, okay? So over here to the right, it's... It's just a pile, just a pile of just crap just laid everywhere. Um, right here we got tons of monster cans, monster sponsor me. Uh, tons of monster cans there. Um, there are can tabs that you can use to like redeem stuff or whatever. I got a lint roller with some hair on it. Mm. So when you're, whenever you're running out and you, you need, you know, you need to lint roll yourself, you can, you can, you can. You can do that. Um, tons of just crap over here, GoPros, stuff like that. I got a little, I got a little penny quarter jar thing. Um, over here, this is the uh, this is the softbox light that I use uh, most often. Actually, hang on. Over here is my name. I had that, that was for my graduation. I just threw it up on the wall. Um, over here, this is a chalkboard wall. It doesn't really get too much use anymore. It, it did when I was like you know, younger and people actually came over to my house and I was social. Um, used to, used to have people write on that. Uh, people don't really do that anymore because I don't, I don't invite people over here anymore. Uh, but anyways, okay. So next up there, we kind of just got a bunch of boxes. I like to save my boxes for stuff. So I've got a PlayStation box. I've got an Xbox box. I've got a Canon box, Astros, 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 Mike, Logitech, Astros, um, uh, there's a lot of Astro boxes nowadays. Uh, but yeah, there's just a ton of boxes all kind of just shoved up there. I like to keep boxes for things in case I need to return it or resell it. I can just do that. Um, also, this was kind of cool. I have an Astro speaker tag right here. Um, just sticking here because apparently there's metal right here. So that was pretty cool. That was like when I first got Astros, I noticed that it did that. So I always just kind of left it there. Um, down here, like I said, it, it's incredibly disorganized, so I apologize in advance. Um, but right here, I have an Xbox 360. This is just kind of the console, um, you know, the pleb shelf over here. Uh, we got a PS4, PS4 controller, Xbox, Xbox controller. I got, like, football cards and stuff, like, full decks of, uh, or full sets of football cards and stuff just around my room in different places. But anyways, the main idea here is that we've got um, Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox. In here, I've got like Xbox games. I don't. Know, there's tons of just tons of crap in there. Um, Xbox games, etc. Just a bunch of random crap in this uh, in this little area where I used to have my TV. Um, if you guys didn't see in the last setup video, this used to be like my bedroom, uh, but now this is more of like a home office. If I want to be technical, um, so I don't have any like you know bed down here or anything like that anymore. It's just an office. And uh, I have a bedroom upstairs now. So, back to the goodies, I guess. Um, this right here is a softbox light. I use this every time that I stream. Um, as you see right here, here's where I sit. And we'll give you a little sneak peek. Here's where I sit. So, it's not exactly, like, beaming on my face. Eh. It's not exactly beaming on my face. I just, turn, I just turn one of these little lamps on right here. It's still very bright, but it produces a very nice, like, white light background that kind of just, like, you know, lightens me up a little bit. But over here... We have got my computer. This is a H110 Switch NZXT case. It has a 760 in there. The 760 is a little outdated. Um, but we got a 760 in there, a i7-4790 with a H110i water cooler. I believe 16 gigs of RAM, maybe 32. I think it's just 16, though. 16 gigs of RAM, a little Aver Media card down there, and a RM850 power supply. I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as like the, the drives go, I have a 240 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive in there. 
And uh, if you need any of those specs, you can check those out down below. Again, more boxes. This is the camera that I'm using right here. Just kind of got some stickers over here that I take to events and stuff, business cards. Um, you know, Summit's big head right there, if it'll focus. Um, these little Kappa cards are really cool. Uh, got an extra H100 cooler down there that we were gonna use on a build but didn't end up using. Uh, but yeah, just kind of, you know, PC and extra parts just kind of hanging out over here. Um, I have an A50 wireless thingamabobber right here just so I can have audio to my um, headset while I'm gaming. And then I guess we'll turn over here towards the desk. Here we've got three BenQ monitors um, on the left and the far right side, or switch them. On the outer, on the outer edges, uh, they are RL2455HM monitors, which are 60 hertz monitors. Those are used for like web browsing and you know, just not doing gaming on them. This one right here is just recently upgraded, it is the XL2420Z, I believe. They're all 24 inch monitors, but this one is a 144 hertz monitor. Um, perfect for, for FPS gaming. And uh, yeah, this is 144 hertz. These are 60 hertz on the sides. Uh, this stand right here is a triple monitor stand. I can give you guys a link in the description for that. Um, it's really nice because it you know eliminates all of the extra space that you'd have down here because of the, uh, the extra stand. So it just kind of holds them all up. It is incredibly heavy. I will say that right now. It's, it's incredibly heavy and it's, it's really sturdy. Um, so if you're looking for something to kind of, you know, just hold everything up and eliminate all of the, you know, extra room down here, it's a really nice way to, uh, to keep your desk less cluttered. I say that and, you know, you see cords just running everywhere, but, you know, if you stick to it, you can make it nice. So um, we'll move back over here to the left. Hopefully my camera doesn't die before this is over. Um, you can't really see that because there's a UFO running on my forehead. Um, but this is a newspaper article that I was in in Columbus. I was on the fr on the front page of it. Um, it was talking about you know competitive gaming and, and what it took to be a competitive gamer and stuff like that. And they interviewed me on the inside and talked all about it. I can put a link to that in the description as well, the online article there. Uh, but this was really my first big like... My first big thing, this is actually what got me sponsored by Astro, so it was a really cool experience there. Uh, this huge piece that you see here in the corner, uh, obviously I get a lot of questions about this, but this is actually a light up sign with my logo, as you guys see right there. Let me see if I can put myself. With my logo in there, it's a light up sign that my dad actually made me for Christmas. It was my Christmas present from him. Um, it's not plugged in right now, I'm sorry to disappoint, um, but it has LED strips running all along it and it shines on this and it, it looks really cool when it's dark in here. Uh, but my dad actually made that for me, so it's not anywhere you can buy it or anything like that. It's just a, uh, sorry if I was covering up the mic there, it's just a uh, custom piece that my dad made for me. So pretty awesome, all handcrafted by my dad. So um, right there is a dog bed hanging right below the sign. I know, very dangerous, but that's a dog bed. So when my dog gets lonely, she can come down here and hang out while I'm streaming. Uh, right here is actually an Overwatch poster. I just got this, um, an Overwatch poster. We went to the Blizzard offices. It's signed uh, by the dev team. As you see all the signatures up there, I actually just got it framed and uh, that's gonna be the first piece when I move into my new apartment. So I've never really had posters, as you see around my walls. I don't really have any like gaming posters, just, you know, you know, pictures of myself, so. Uh, no gaming posters, anything like that. So that's gonna be my first gaming poster. I'm super excited for that game to come out and I uh, can't wait, I think it'll make a nice piece. So um, I guess over to the desk here, my computer's on sleep now, so I apologize for that. Uh, I have a heater, this is a must for me. Down here, obviously, as you guys see, there's brick walls, so um, I, I, I point to the one wall that's not brick, of course. Um, there's brick walls down here, it is in the basement, so it does get, it does get rather cold down here because it's, it's in the ground. So I have a heater on me pretty much all times, uh, whenever I can, because it does get, it does get pretty cold down here. Um, over here I have my phone, iPhone 6, I um, actually just got that, I was using a Galaxy S6 before that and I decided to make the switch to a iPhone, uh, my wallet, and then a really cool, I'm not sure what the stickers are called exactly, but it's a, it's like one of those peel away stickers where, it, I don't know what it's called, but it's a sticker of my logo right here, my dad got this made for me, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, and then up here I just have a picture, a lot of people actually do ask me about this picture, or ask me like, what's on your desk, why is there a, a picture frame up there? It's um, both respectively a picture of, uh, it was when I was getting my senior pictures done, and instead of it being from, you know, from the lens of the person who was taking the pictures, it was a picture from, well, this one my mom took, it was my dad helping out 
me getting my picture done and then this one was my mom helping me get my picture done and it was kind of like a a symbol thing i guess i don't know i was trying to be artsy it's just like you know instead of having like just picture my parents it shows them you know them helping me out and and how much they've done for me so i thought that was a pretty cool picture to have up in the frame rather than just you know a picture of us all um, and then next, let's move along. Uh, we have a Steel Series mouse pad right here. This is um, it's a soft mouse pad. It is a Steel Series QCK Plus. On the mouse pad, we have a Zowie FK2 mouse right there. Oh god, everything's moving now. Everything's moving. Um, here I have a, a little Twitch coaster. It's gotten disgusting. Look at that Twitch. Send me a new coaster, please. Um, with some Mountain Dew on that, of course. Up here, there is a there's a mouse pad under my monitor stand right here it's a uh, it's a razor goliathus i believe it was an awful mouse pad for uh for using with my uh with my mouse sorry i can't talk it's been way too long into this video uh, it was awful for my mouse because i would like wipe it back and forth on here and this is a control version of the goliathus i didn't know there was a difference and this is the control version which means it's like it's very gritty and it would like it would cut up on my wrist and it would drive me insane. So I thought it was really cool and it was really nice how large it was, but it just wasn't cutting it anymore for uh, for my mouse pad. So I got myself a softer mat and I use that kind of just for decoration now. Uh, this right here is a mouse bungee. What this does is it keeps your mouse cord up so that it doesn't get tangled on things. So when you end up pulling it, it just you know lowers and, and gives you a little bit more room and when you're not it holds it up for you so a uh, really cool little device it's a very 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 off-brand uh, version of it I know Razer ones and Zowie ones go for like 30 40 dollars this one was about eight dollars on Amazon that link will be in the description as well um, and then over a little bit more to the left this is a Ducky Shine 2 I believe Ducky Shine 2 out of the year of the snake I think is what it was called um, this is a Ducky Shine 10 kilos keyboard, meaning that it does not have a number pad. So if you guys don't want a number pad, um, you want to be looking at 10 keyless keyboards. That's exactly what this one is. Um, these these keycaps right here are just replaceable. There's nothing special about them. Um, but Ducky Shines are always known for some pretty cool light shows. Oh god, I'm making noises. Uh, but yeah, this is a Ducky Shine 10 keyless with brown switches inside of it. I'm not sure if the link that I'm going to provide is going to have them in stock because they're super hard to find at the moment online. But there will be a link in the description somewhere. Uh, the mat that this is on is just a DX Racer mat that I was given at an event. Um, just kind of, again, there for cosmetic reasons, I guess. Um, over here, a little bit more, we have a Logitech C930, um, which is a little bit different from what you guys are used to seeing in streamer setup videos. There, You're used to seeing the C920, which is the more common of the two. Um, the C930 is for, you know, business and it, it provides a wider field of view so that you can you know capture everyone in a business meeting so it's it's like a difference of like 30 degrees field of view um, and the way that i have my camera set up i like to have a wider angle so that's why i have this no other reason besides that it's just a wider angle um, over here got a little bit of germex i hardly really okay i, I say i hardly use it it's almost gone uh, but i got germex over there just in case i you know need to clean my fingers or clean my hands or whatever um, here is a Astro Mix Amp, and then over here is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 um, interface here for my mic. Right here is the Astro A50s. I've been using these as of late. Um, they've just been really nice to not worry about having a cord on them. They come with a nice little handy dandy stand and a uh, charger they're charging right now. And uh, yeah, those are my A50s. They work with the wireless transmitter, and then that's it. Completely wireless, other than just that, that little box right there. Um, so over here, a little bit more to the left backtracking a little bit i have the blue words it's gone it's gone what is it called the blue spark microphone i'm not using anything crazy for a pop filter it probably actually doesn't do a great job of um you know helping out with the p's and the s's and, and everything else for the pop filter um, but it's just a standard pop filter here it came with it all of this this stuff right here came with it um it's on a very 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 it's the cheapest mic stand i could find it's just just a really cheap mic stand here um with a little bit of uh shock mount here and it just kind of sits right by my keyboard facing towards me just to uh you know kind of be low profile but also you know get the job done so uh really cheap mic arm there if i can't find it if you just amazon you know mic arm and you find the cheapest one that's what this is right here it's very cheap um and then over here you guys have probably been eyeing it up every time i swung my hand by it um here is the astro wall of glory right here um my dad made this also my dad's had a huge part in in the construction of this awesome office type of deal. 
Um, here is where I, I have kind of my wall of Astros. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be working with Astro. This is actually the first pair of Astros I ever bought right here back in like 2011. Um, I was a huge, huge, huge fan of their brand. And then obviously you saw me wearing them over in, in these over here. Um, and then once they saw me wearing them there, they're like, you know what? We really like you. We're going to send you more of them. So then I have a bunch of Astros now. Like I said, super privileged to be able to do that. Um, I know I know that I'm going to get this comment beforehand, so I'm just going to address it right now. Uh, if some of you guys are like, hey, Cody, you have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of Astros. Can I please have one pair of Astros? You won't even know they're gone. Um, I don't like to give away anything that's used. That's just the way that I've always felt about things. I don't like to do that. Um, you can, however, um, it, over on my Twitch channel, I give away a pair of Astros every single month, brand new, for free, um, to one of my subscribers. So, um, obviously, you can't win any of the limited edition purple or blue ones, uh, but you can, you know, enter into win some of the uh, some of the newer ones. So, I uh, do give away, uh, give away a brand new pair of them every single month. So, sorry, these are off limits. Don't look at them anymore. We're done with those. Uh, but yeah, you you guys can check out the Twitch channel and you can enter in for those. Um, over here, I have a beautiful little, I don't even know, a little a little painting, a little painting that was made for me when I first started streaming uh, by my friend Kaylee. She was one of my first viewers on my stream and she made that and sent it to my P.O. box. And uh, so I've, I've had it hung there ever since. Um, over here, I have a dollar, dollar bill with my logo on it. Maddie sent me that for Christmas. Um, over here is a Joybot postcard from when I first bought... Um, Probably shouldn't have this ticket on here because it has my information on it. Um, just a, a Joybot postcard over here. Picture of me and my girlfriend when kind of when we first met. Um, over here, I, I used to keep track of my follower my, milestones. This is when I first hit a thousand followers, um, and then obviously, you know, going all the way to 10k, 15k, 20k, and then um, over here was my my sub goals and like how long it took me to uh, to hit certain sub milestones and stuff like that. So I always kind of made it a uh, a thing to you know get more followers and in, in less amount of times so like I would try to get to this thousand before I got to that thousand or whatever so I, I thought it was a really cool idea to always keep track of your milestones and try to always do better so um, I always kept track of them on there obviously since then I haven't really updated it in a while last time you know last time I updated it was six nine fourteen which is which is over a year ago now but it was still still a cool thing to have up there over here just a calendar uh, we're running, we're almost out, dude, we're almost out. We, I guess it's been 18 minutes, so I guess that makes sense that the video is almost over now. Um, here we have a calendar. I try my best to keep track of everything that's going on, although, you know, it's pretty much completely blank. Aside from, ooh, I, I wrote down something for TwitchCon in there. Look at that. I'm super ready to go. Um, down here, I just have, like, a little storage thing. I don't know. I just shove crap in there. Got another uh, physical copy of the, the newspaper here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I haven't really talked about the chair. I guess that's about all I've got left. Um, here I've got a DX Racer. I believe it's an FE57 model. Um, I'll have a link down in the description for that as well. And then right here is just kind of a just a blanket all folded up because uh, you know when I sit down I tend to lean really heavy on my on my left arm because that's my keyboard arm. So I lean really heavy on that, and uh, that helps out my elbows. So I don't get destroyed too much. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I do have um, some speakers down here, but those aren't anything too, too fascinating. Um, aside from that, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if you guys had anything else that you wanted to see. Um, as far as like the, the screen setups go, uh, middle monitor is just my gameplay monitor. Like I said, um, over here, I've got uh, my chat, OBS, you know, music, stuff like that over on this screen. Um, this is normally like web browsing stuff. And then I've got one screen for the follow pop-ups and then tweet deck for uh for the twitter pop-ups on screen but as far as everything else because i think that's it i think that's all i've got i'm sorry that was just a really quick wrap up um i think that's pretty much it thank you guys so very much for watching i will give you guys one more overview before i send you guys out but thank you guys so very much for watching the stream this this video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like down below i know that it was very long so if you guys made it this long say bananas in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys again next time. Peace out, guys. Goodbye.